Welcome to Knife Thoughts. This video is going to be on this knife, and this is the Great Eastern Cutlery, Tidiute Cutlery, Rosie Barlow. And so, as you can see, this is her special edition. And there's a little write-up on the back that tells you kind of what this knife is. So basically, Rosie, who is one of the employees at GEC, is a really, you know, great, enjoyable, um, uh, I guess, part of the rendezvous each year. She's the greeter and the ticket master. Uh, so, you know, you kind of have to go through her to get into the store. And she just has a really kind of um, big, positive kind of atmosphere around her. It's always really enjoyable, especially if you stayed up all night uh, waiting in line for the rendezvous. But uh, what happened is, if you can you know, read this, you can pause the video and read it. Uh, she stamped out uh, a bunch of um, parts uh, and did it you know, a little bit incorrectly. And instead of scrapping them, Bill decided to turn them into a special rosy knife. And so I couldn't figure out at first what the issue was. So kind of these are different than the normal run of 78s. I don't have one to show you from this year. I got one and ended up selling it. But the normal run of 78s were two bladed. They had a clip point like this knife, but then also a pen blade in front. And so they were called Bullet and Barlows. And I made a video on them and, um, you know, said, is it really a Barlow? And, you know, the, my final answer was yes. You know, if GEC calls it a Barlow, if it has a, a somewhat elongated um, a bolster, then yeah, it's a Barlow. But my point was, it is not uh, as elongated. The bolster is not as elongated as a typical Barlow. So all of GEC's other Barlows have a more elongated bolster that's about or a little more than 30 uh, than a third of the full length of the handle. These 78 bullet and Barlows do not. It's like 25% or something like that. So it's longer than the normal 78 bolster, which I have one that I can hopefully show you. So this is the normal 78 bolster. And you can see that the this Rosie or Bullet and Barlow's bolster is a good bit longer. It's like twice as long or something. Um, it's just not as long compared to the rest of the handle as a normal Barlow. But in my video, I did end up saying, you know, I think it is a Barlow if that's what they're calling it. Um, but it seemed to stir up some, you know, I don't know, disagreement or fervor or whatever. Uh, and so, um, you know, I, I had a post taken down from the Great Eastern Cutlery Club and stuff like that. But anyway, that wasn't really my main reason for not keeping the other uh, knife from this run that I got. It's more that I just don't prefer pen in front uh, two blades, particularly when it makes it hard to access the main uh, blade and, you know, the secondary blade is always kind of hard to access when it's a pen blade like that. Now, I know that it's very traditional for a Barlow to have two blades and especially, you know, a clip point and a pen blade. And a lot of people think that the pen in front is the more traditional construction for an American Barlow. It's just not my preference. So I was really ha happy to see that they were making a single blade. Um, and in this kind of really unique and special configuration as the Rosie Barlow. Um, I wasn't sure how easy it was, gon was going to be to get these because it was kind of a special run. You know, you don't know how many they're making. Um, but I ended up getting one from Blue Creek Cutlery, Ken. I've been buying Great Eastern Cutlery knives from Ken for a long time. And so I really appreciate getting one from him. Uh, and like I say, it's, it's a special knife because it only came into existence because of a mistake, basically. So uh, it turns out, you know, I had trouble finding what that mistake was, but uh, a fellow Barlow Bearcat, I believe it was Ian, um, but it, but I might be wrong on that, asked Randy of uh, Great Eastern Cutlery, and he said that it's that this Great Eastern Cutlery stamp was stamped crooked. So it's not really that crooked. Um, you know, it's, it's not a huge mistake, I would say. Uh, also, he said that... Um, it was maybe due to like a, an issue, something breaking in the machine. But if you can see, it is slightly crooked, like upwards this way. Uh, so 
not a huge issue in my opinion, um, but they decided to, to make these single blades because of it, and I really appreciate it because I was happy to get a single blade 78 Barlow. This is the only run of Barlows they've done on the 78 pattern, uh, and I'd kind of like to have a Barlow from each of the versions or patterns that GEC has made Barlows on. But you can see they did add the number, the tang number stamp there. Uh, it was on the, the secondary blades on the normal run, so it sits pretty deep, um, so much so that you can't see it when the blade is fully open. Uh, so I saw some Barlow Bearcats think that it not having uh, a tang number stamp was the the issue, but it is according to the Barlow Bearcat member who said, according to Randy, it is that this is um, crooked. So like I say, not a huge issue. And otherwise, it's a really nicely made knife. Um, the tip is not proud, which you know I appreciate. It is well centered. Um, as far as I can tell, it doesn't have any blade wrap. It has really nice action. I would call it probably a six, something like that. Six on the pull. Um, it, you know, the nail nick is easy to access, but I can also pinch it. You know, it takes a little little work there. Um, it still has some of the oil on the blade. I haven't used it or anything, uh, but I do think it's somewhat pinchable. Maybe not as pinchable as some knives, but somewhat pinchable. Um, so, you know, I really like that they made a single blade. I think it's a really classic Barlow. Uh, and I also really like, you know, that the Bill did something like this that, you know, kind of turned a mistake that an employee kind of made into a positive where kind of celebrating Rosie, who, like I say, is a positive uh, part of the rendezvous. Um, someone who's been there for, for years as the greeter. Uh, and, you know, this etch really fits her. She's got lots of tattoos and uh, often is wearing a, a cutoff shirt, a sleeveless shirt uh, at the rendezvous, something like that. So I think that the, you know, Rosie the Riveter style art is really fitting. So you can see that there. And uh, I assume she has cats, <laughs> um, uh, but I, I think that this is a really nice thing. You can see the paw prints there. A uh, really nice thing that Bill has done making this special uh, version for, for Rosie. And it, it, to me, it really does feel like a Barlow. And the reason for that is because it has these Jig Delrin handles. I have had one other knife in Jig Delrin from GEC. It was a rendezvous, uh, or a uh, special factory assembly from this year's rendezvous. But it wasn't one that I really needed to keep. Uh, it was a, a 86 harness jack and I already have some of those. So um, I was really happy that they did it in this jigged orange Delrin because I think it's so classic. I mean, it's such a bright orange, it's classic. It looks like a working knife. You know, the synthetic jigged handles, which are very traditional for Barlow's. I think that the jigging on these is super nice. I think if this was a bone handle, people would be going crazy over this jigging. Um, I just really like this jigged orange Delrin. And then you also have the classic bar shield that says Rosie. And I think that it's a good shield for this as a Barlow. I don't prefer Barlow's to have shields. I generally think that they're better without it. But being that this is a shorter bolster for a Barlow, again, calling it a Barlow, but it is a shorter sh um, bolster, not shield, a sh shorter bolster for a Barlow, I think that having a shield makes sense and that the bar shield is a good option. So I really like this knife. I'm very happy to have gotten one. Um, I'm gonna put it actually in my case, I think, and hopefully have Rosie sign the, the tube at, the, at next year's rendezvous, or maybe before. Um, so I really like this. I'm glad that they did this. Um, kind of fortuitous, again, for me, being a fan of single blades rather than two blades on a Barlow and just a really cool knife with kind of a special story from GEC. So uh, they did these in both this and a black Jig Delrin, but I'm very happy that I got the orange. I, I prefer it. So another really cool knife from Great Edition Cutlery, kind of a special one, like a lot of the other knives they've done, the um, Beer Scout and 
Urban Jack, kind of unique things that really makes GEC, one of the things that makes GEC stand out for me. So uh, really cool knife in the Rosie Barlow. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell and select all so you know when I post new videos. And also make sure you go to knifethoughts.com and subscribe to my newsletter. That's the best way to get all the latest knife thoughts. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.